Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another really cool uh, video for you of an arcade game that we got finished up. This one here is kind of an interesting one. This is Midway Games Touchmaster, which uh, was a little countertop game with a little touch screen on it. You could touch the different games. This is notable because they uh, Midway re-released this years later. This this cabinet, this little countertop game, came out in the mid '90s, and they re-released it years later, around uh, 2007 or so, as a game for the DS with some of these same games on it. Um, but I figured since we had the arcade version, I'd take a little video of it and show it to people so they could uh, they could see what the original was like, right? So. Uh, it's a neat little cabinet. This wasn't the only countertop game, of course. There was a bunch of companies making these, and Midway decided they'd get in the, the uh, throw their hat in the ring. So, um, the first one that I know of that was released was the Touchmaster 5000, and it was this little board. It has a little board in the in the bottom of it, and then you could update it. Uh, so this particular one that we have here was updated to the 8000, which was the last version. Um, I don't even know if there was a 6,000, but I've seen 5,000, 7,000, and 8,000. And so basically each time you would change out some uh, some ROM chips, some EEPROM chips on the uh, board, and it would make it have new games um, and kind of add more to it. So it's a neat little cabinet. Um, we've got the back door off of it so you can see kind of how it works. I'll lift that up. Basically the monitor is mounted upside down in it. The board's up on the top. Um, this whole cabinet, the sides and everything, will come off if you want it to. Uh, and then the board is down there on the bottom in a little tray. Uh, and that with just some EEPROM chips. This is the uh, touchscreen controller. If you look, see that little green light on the edge? Whenever I touch the uh, screen, you can see it pulses. That's basically, that's how you can test it to see if it's working right. But um, Just a simple little design. Of course, all that locks up and there's a little plate that goes there. There's a little uh, lock that goes in this hole here that makes it where the cash box can't come out. But when you take the cash box out, back behind it there's a calibration button and a setup button. So we'll press the setup button and you can go into the, uh, you can see the setup menu here. It says version 9.04, uh, that's 9.04 version of the 8000 software. So basically you can set up different things. We've got it on free play right now. Um, you can do things like location setup where you can change the, uh, uh, I guess the speed that that goes along, but you can also change the name so you can make it say uh, uh, welcome to Bob's bar or whatever. And these were, these were meant to be set on the counter at a bar basically was their main purpose. And uh, um, I used to work for a guy that operated some of them for a while, not necessarily Touchmaster, but some of these countertop games. Uh, the ones for Merit were, were more famous, the Mega Touch series. Um, and they actually made a ton of money, a lot of money for a little while. Uh, a lot of the uh, waitresses and waiters, servers, uh, whenever they were off shift, they, would, they wouldn't have really anywhere to go. They had, you know, a lunch break or whatever. They'd go sit down and play the game. So they made a lot of money off of the people that worked at the, at the location, which was interesting. But of course customers used them a lot too. And uh, I think we'll just go out and uh, operator message. Let's see what's on there. It's just the generic one. Welcome to Midway's Touchmaster 8000. You can clear out the high scores. You can change the uh, which games are enabled. Things like that. So you've got five categories. There's a sixth category that can be turned on with adult games on it. Um, but here in our store, of course, we don't leave that on. <laughs> that would be, uh, that might be illegal. I don't know. But we'll see the games that are on it. Now, if you've, if you've got the DS version, you'll recognize some of these games. But I imagine that they probably updated the graphics for the DS version. So here's some of the card games. You've got Flight Deck, Go Wild. Power Cell, and it's got a little new logo beside it because on the 8000 version that would have been a new game. On the, like on 7000 that wouldn't have been on there. Uh, Super Score, Solitaire, Double Take, Uplift, Three Peaks Deluxe, then you hit more games and there's another page of card games. Pyramid 13, Triple Elevens, Pairs, Solitaire Classic, Royal Quest, Target 21, and then that's the, there's only two pages. So you hit Action, there's only three Action Games. Games, Kick Champion, which is like a soccer, you're trying to make a soccer goal. Zap them. I'm not sure what that is. 
Oh yeah, you shoot these little robots. It's kind of like a shooting gallery. Um, and then hot hoops is kind of a famous one, where you just try to make the shot as the basket goes by. But the way you do it is you just touch the the guy. So there's only three action games. The word puzzle games are pretty popular usually. Um, a lot of people love those. Of course, word search is, you know, just a classic word search puzzle. Uh, it's got the trivia, and the trivia is outdated because this came out in probably, I think the 8,000 version would have been maybe 1999 or so. So a lot of the, uh, all of the questions are just stuff that is out of date. That's still pretty cool. And then words. Oh, so it's kind of like a, a Wheel of Fortune. Tiger Quiz Whiz. Same thing, they're asking you kind of who founded a manufacturing empire based on chewing gum? Okay, skill games. Pool pairs, which is a new one. Mirror, wild slide, crystal balls, mahjong pairs. This game is probably the most fun, you know, on them. Basically, you matched up the tiles. Everybody loves it. Maki artifact, Times Square, Five Star Generals is really fun. How to play Five Star Generals. Match all 12 patterns to win. Touch the dice to discard. Press draw to re-roll discarded dice. Up to two draws per turn. Touch green button to score matching pattern. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, fun game. If you don't know, now you know. Shell shock. Follow the P to win the jackpot. All right, that's pretty cool. And okay, we already went through those. So there you go. So there's there's I think 33 games if you count the adult games, um, which are things like strip poker stuff like that. And then there's like a an adult word search where they you know the words are things that <laughs> we can't leave turned on in the in the shop. But it's a neat little game. It's also on a swivel. There's a little base under it that swivels around. Um, and it's, they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, they don't cost much. So these actually usually sell pretty well. There's a lot of people that remember them from bars that, you know, they enjoyed playing the games. I don't know if this one has the, uh, the, uh, yeah, find the differences between the pictures. People love that. That's a really fun game. Um, I don't know why people are so into it, but they love it. So if it's got that on there, people like it. If it's got the adult games, people like it. If it's got the word search, people like it. Um, and people people like whenever it's got uh, poker on it. I don't I don't know if this one even has poker, but it's got strip poker, um, which I guess people really like. And it's, it's got some card games, but if it's got just the the uh, straight up generic poker game, people people really like that. So uh, I think on one of the earlier versions of Touchmaster as well, there was a version of Centipede on it and a version of Breakout on it. Um, they had some kind of licensing deal with Atari for a little while there. Um, and then this one's cool because it doesn't have a hard drive. So it's just a logic board, and if, uh, you don't have to worry about the hard drive locking up. Hard drives, you know, they spin, and they've got a little bit of a mechanical side to them, so eventually a hard drive will wear out. Um, and you can usually replace it with something else, or uh, you can do like a solid state hard drive or something like that. But uh, a game like this was so old, it was one of the early ones, so it actually didn't even have a hard drive in it. So it, in the long term, that makes it a little bit more reliable, um, even though it's a little old fashioned and the, uh, the graphics aren't as nice as some of the ones that came out later. But uh, there you have it. That is Midway's Touchmaster. Neat little game. They also made an upright version of this. And like I was saying earlier, Merit was the real winner in that. There was a company, uh, Merit Industries, which I believe is out of business now. I'm not, I'm not sure. They may still be around. Um, they may have actually, uh, they may be part of Touch Tunes now, I think the last I heard. So maybe, maybe they're still around, uh, the jukebox company. But um, what, what ultimately killed these 
type of games off is that once smartphones came around, you can play most of these games on a smartphone or better games on a smartphone. So it, it for just a little while there, maybe 10, 15 years, it had a little niche where if you're stuck in a bar and you're waiting on somebody or you don't have anything to do or whatever, if this was on the counter, it would give you a little game to play. Well, now everybody can do that exact same thing if they've got their cell phone with them and you don't have to pay for it. So it really destroyed the, the, uh, the earning potential of games like this. But they remain an interesting little uh, piece of arcade history, though. So there it is. We thought we'd just film just a quick video. I won't play through all of the games because they're all kind of stuff you've played before, and they're just little mini games. Um, but uh, if you're interested in it, pick up the uh, the DS version. I'm sure you can get it pretty cheap. They actually made three or four different uh, DS Touchmaster games, and they were all made by Midway uh, with these exact games on it, and and newer ones that they made uh, that they developed just for the DS. But uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. By the time you see this video, we may not have this Touchmaster available anymore. But maybe we'll have a different touchscreen or, or uh, you know, just a different arcade game that you're interested in. Uh, this part of our building here, we've got a ton of them in it right now. Um, and, of course, uh, we've got a ton of storage. And if you look through that hole over there, there's another building next door full of games. So we've always got different games for sale. You can see all the ones that we have uh, whenever you're watching this video, even if it's years down the road. Uh, on our website at lionsarcade.com or you can stop by and see us we're in downtown Rock Hill South Carolina which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte North Carolina and uh, just stop by we're open every day except Sunday um, and if you're not in the area and you're not looking to buy a game just subscribe to us here on YouTube we're going to be filming videos of just everything we get ready that's something interesting uh, like this one and uh, usually more classic games that came out in the 80s or, or even the 70s sometimes. So we will see you next video.